And I'd like to just say a little word about uh, the concept of home. It's such an important one. Everybody lives in a home, however modest or grand, whether they own it or rent it. Um, they have a place which is their own, which they live in on their own, with their partner, with their family, with their extended family, with a community. You know, there's a place that's called home. Feeling at home, feeling at ease, feeling that we've come home to ourselves. These are key, key foundations for life. There's nothing we can do out there. We can't go out and fulfill our potential, change the world, make a difference, unless we have somewhere that we feel at home, feel at ease. And that place is the foundation for everything that happens out there. So it's so important that our homes work for us, that they are uh, the centre of our universe they work for us and what's interesting that I've found over the years is that if something's out of kilter at home, if something doesn't work, it will replicate. In fact, as I, one of the things that I, I, I teach is flow and um, you know over the years I've seen things happen where something's happened at home rather than think, oh well that's happened, <laughs> so what, you know the washing machine's broken, I think, oh the washing machine of Rome, that's interesting. Hmm. So I might cuss a bit and think, oh, that's a bit of a problem. Um, I might be disappointed that the washing machine is broken, but I'll also question, I think, oh, that's interesting. And that came about because I lived in two homes, a country place and a city place. And interestingly, I noticed over the years, something would happen in one house and the same thing happened in the other. Central heating went in one house, the central heating went in the other at the same time. A car broke at one house, the car would break with the same fault at the other house. Uh, water was cut in one house, within an hour the water was cut off in the other house. Different reasons, but the water was cut off. Um, it went on and on. And the culmination of this was uh, a break-in in the London house. I got a call, I was in the country, I got a call from a police officer saying, Regina Lazenby, is this your house? Yes. My goodness, what is it? And he said, well, I've broken in you've had a, um, an attempt to break in and I've broken into the house and I'm going to make it safe for you. Um, we'll get the house boarded up and um, when you come to London, come and collect the keys from the police station and uh, you can get into your house. So a few days later I'm setting off to London but just before I go, I'm thinking, oh yeah, so the London house is broken into, that means <laughs> the, the, the country house might be broken into. So I actually, I actually rang the police it's like, do you remember that movie Minority Report when they had these precogs see crime in the future? Well, I phoned the police and I said, you're going to think I'm mad, but I told this poor woman on the switchboard the story about the two houses and everything happening was the same and the house in London having had a break-in. And she, um, bless her, she said, well, we'll get a policeman around. <laughs> so a policeman came around and fantastic, he spent two hours with me really looking at everywhere where my house was vulnerable and helping me do what I could in the time scale. So off I went to London, put the house to rights, got it secure, came back and came through the house, got to the kitchen door and I saw outside, I've got two angels at the door and they've fallen over. Went outside and looked and I saw all the ivy up to this height had been eaten around the beautiful cottage front, you know, ivy clad cottage, all gone. Every last leaf and I realized we had been broken into, but not by humans. We've been into by sheep. So it's interesting. <laughs> These sheep had got in, and what, what the lesson was, what's interesting, we, we, we bought some extra land, um, stone wall, the old Yorkshire stone wall, being tamed down, and a new fence put up. And in that moment, I was called to look at boundaries and borders. You know, at all, my, at all aspects of life, in my business and my personal life, what was happening with those boundaries and borders. Because the way the universe works is it gives us information and it gives us it in pictures and patterns. And what happens to us as home, it's a way of telling us what's going on, but we can't always see it. So I really learned that lesson with those two properties, with everything being repeated, that when something happened, it did have a meaning. And all I had to do was question it. In the process of questioning, I would get an answer um, of what I needed to do. And it was my answer, it wasn't the answer. You know, you can't say this happens in a house and that's the same for everybody. Sometimes it can mean that. 
but you know it, it is whatever answer you need to hear at that moment in time so our whole life is rich in messages and metaphors for what's happening in life so the long and the short of it is make sure your home works completely make sure everything is in perfect working order because in taking care of that then everything else out there everything else will work it makes life so much easier just make sure your house is in order <laughs>